Hello, everyone, and welcome to week four, our final week of manager of a Moodle site, AI enhanced course. If you're watching this on YouTube, welcome. If you're watching this recording, you're very welcome. And if you're here, you're even more welcome because you get a chance to ask questions in real time. So let's get started with what's ahead in week four. In week four, you'll get a chance to take a look at another website as a manager of a Moodle site. You will create an account on Moody, which is completely free, where you can get your very own Moodle site. And of course, Moodle courses. So you will back up your course, the course you created on blended online learning, and restore it on Moody. And then you will create a video tour of the course that you restored on Moody. And of course, insert the link using Generico or embed it. This is a video on how to back up and restore a Moodle course on Moody. So you'll be watching that to help you. You will also create video number two using one of the screen recorders of your choice and showcase the activities that you created in the course during weeks one to four. You will also create a book using one of these ebook tools such as Canva ebook. They're all completely free. Our books, Book Creator, or Hublu, which is also free, or any other interactive multimedia ebook to showcase your work and add all the links and add details. You will also insert the link of the book if you're using Book Creator with Generico and the other ones you will embed. If you cannot embed anything in Moodle, you need to make sure that you copy and paste the link, but set it to open in the new window so that participants do not have to leave the course and not have a way to come back. You'll also reflect using a reflect that I created for you and share the reflection with the rest of us. So these are the activities that you'll be doing in week four. Week four is not that uh, detailed. It's a lot less than the previous week. So you have a chance to complete weeks one, two, three, and then go on to week four. I will be providing you with support until the end of May, but in June, I will not be available so that if you don't finish by the end of May, you may continue. I will be able to grade you, but not provide support in July. So if you want my support, you can only get it in May, and then you'll have to uh, manage on your own and hopefully uh, get the grading done in July. But if there are, of course, support questions, I will add, I will answer them, but in July, not in June, because I'm going on vacation and I don't plan to go into any of my sites. At least I hope I don't go in. All right, so let's take a look at um, some of these. I'm gonna go into this one, right? So this is uh, week four and the activities. We're first gonna, we'll start with uh, Moody. So I already have an account on Moody, but you can get your account right now 
so that you can take a look at Moody. Let me get the link for you and add it in the chat so you get a chance to see what it's like. You want to try that. I don't know how your system is. Mine was very slow uh, with screen sharing on Zoom today. I don't know why, but let me add this in the chat. So you need to go into moody.org, blended online learning. Uh, let me log in. It's 100%. Feel free to unmute. And then this is the course. It's all here. Now, this course, maybe they did upgrade to five. I know they were doing something before. Um, it didn't say that uh, it was Moodle 4.5 and this is five, but it might say that. If it does say that, don't worry about it. Um, Moodle five courses will go into 4.5, but maybe not the other way around but the courses are compatible with 4.5 and with five. So this is how you do it. And then you'll get a screen recording of what's here of your course. Okay. So in my case, it'll be this one. Okay. Uh, let's go back here. So this is of the course and the blended learning where you back up your blended learning course and restore it in your course on Moody. Okay, so this is how to back up and then the Moody site, and this is where you will add it. And then there's showcase and reflect on your accomplishments where you go through weeks one to four and you showcase your work and then reflect. And then there's the book, ebook creation, where you create eight chapters with a table of contents, introduction, conclusion, reflections, and summarize each of the four weeks. You add images, you can make it as beautiful as you want. The more beautiful, the more memorable it'll be for you. You've been doing amazing work and uh, that will reflect it. Okay, so that's um, showcase and reflect with an ebook. And the final activity, as I said, there's not that much in week four, is um, let's reflect. I created this for you, so you don't need to do anything. You just click on it, but you need to do the ebook before you can reflect. And then in this one, you simply copy and paste the reflection, or you can get a screenshot of the reflection. And that's week four. So are there any questions about week four or maybe of the previous weeks? Maybe there's a question about uh, the previous ones. So let me know in the chat, or you can unmute yourself and ask questions. In week three, you went over the grades and the site report as the manager. In, um, in Moody, you have manager rights. It's not exactly admin because you can't do everything that an admin does, but you can do quite a bit. You can't install plugins, for example, but you can get a chance to view the plugins. I can take you through it so you can see the differences. So here you have manager rights, when you go into site administration, you will see almost everything, but you will also see development. Under development, you will see more things that you didn't see before. You'll also see reports that you didn't see in uh, blended online learning. You'll see reports and you'll be able to do some things, not much. In the server, you'll also be able to do things. You'll be able but this is um, for next year, if you're interested in learning more about this, but you can take a look at it for now. Under appearance, you'll be able to go through the themes. So these three things you did not see before, but you see now. What you saw before 
was general users, courses, and grades. You also saw plugins, but you didn't see all of this, all the plugins. And now you'll be able to see them. You'll also be able to go into the overview and see all the plugins, but you will not be able to install plugins because you're not the admin. You're just the manager with more rights. Now, week four is very, very, I mean, there's not much to do. In week three, there is a lot more. Week three has two parts. As you can see, week four only has one part. So in week three, there is the grading. There are quite a few. Well, there are not that many activities in week three either. I think the bulk of the activities are in week two. There are more activities in week two because you're developing your course. And that uh, took more time. Okay, so week three shouldn't uh, take too long. In week three, there's only the grade administration, the grades, and there are only, and you have to simply go into your course and add the course completion and the certificate of completion in week three and a badge. So you're working on the badges, courses, certificate in the first part of week three. In the second part of week three, there's not much. There's the report, and the report doesn't have very much. So you're just going to take us through the report and show us uh, what's there. So I think I think you should uh, shouldn't have too much to do. Uh, this week, you'll be able to finish, hopefully. Okay, so I want to thank you if there aren't any questions. And looking forward to seeing your work in week four. And as I said, if you can't finish by the end of the month, you have a chance to continue working. And I'll be back to grade your work in July. So thank you, and thank you for being such an active participant and for doing so much.